Good morning everybody on this Monday morning. It's Monday. It's dark, it's grey, it's November. Let's cure the Monday blues by talking about some films with a few collections uh, and pickups that I've accumulated over the last couple of weeks. That little stack behind me there. First of all, off the bat, I'd like to say thanks to some new subscribers. Uh, my numbers have gone up a little bit in the last couple of days. Not vast amounts, but in comparative to my little channel, I'm very appreciate it. Uh, I know Stuart George, is it Stuart George's Home Movies, his channel, he gave me a shout out. So if you come from his channel, thank you very much. Just say hello in the comments below. In fact, any subscribers, if you're watching, say hello. Nice to meet you all, know who's watching the channel. And yeah, so let's crack on with what we've got over the last couple of weeks. Uh, first of all, uh, BFI. Been doing a Black Friday sale. With really, really good sale. Everything seven ninety nine. Some really great titles. Uh, and the first one I picked up in the sale was a La Regle de Jou, which you know I've forgotten what it translates to now. But it's a nineteen thirty nine French film that is supposed to be very good. One that's been on me radar for a long time. So I'm looking forward to giving that a watch. Now I was telling uh, Larry and James about the sale. And when that one turned up, another box turned up at the same time. And if you've been watching the channel, you know that my friend Larry looks after me. And I've got another package with two more in. Uh, thanks very much, mate. I really do appreciate it. The first one he sent me was... Uh, Fanny and Alexander, which is a uh, Igmar Bergman film, uh, which I'd only seen one Bergman film before, which was Zortum Sonata, I think, and I quite enjoyed that. So I was looking forward to watching this, and I stuck it in. I watched it Saturday morning. Now, this is a long film. It's three hours and ten minutes, but it's very good. Uh, it's about... Um, if you see Upstairs, Downstairs, the 1970s British TV programme, it's a bit like that, but only set in Sweden with this uh, really rich family. And they're very eccentric, and the uh, head of the family, the father, he dies, and the mother remarries to a tyrannical priest, and the she and the kids go live there, and he's a horrible guy, and it all goes south. But, yeah, it's a really good watch. But, having said that... <coughs> It's not one I don't think I'll ever watch again, the length of it. Uh, and Larry always says to me, if it's one you're not going to keep in your collection, move it on. Uh, I think that trades in CEX for 14 quid. So I'll go and trade that for a voucher and get something else that I'm going to watch for the collection. I've decided recently, like films, I'm not going to watch again. I'm not just going to keep them for the sake of keeping them. Move on, get something you do want to watch. That's not a bad mantra in my opinion. Uh, and lastly, uh, from the BFI sale that uh, Larry sent me, was a film that has been on my radar for a long time. I think I've heard Man V Film talk about this one a few times, saying how good it is. Uh, Bait is about a guy in a Cornish fishing village who loses his boat or something and uh, his life spirals out of control. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a watch. Sounds really good. Uh, next up, again from Larry, and this blew me away when this turned up through the door a couple of days ago. Really incredible, mate. Dual 4K. Now, one of the first films I remember, and I've told Larry this before a long time ago, one of the first films I remember watching with my dad is Dual, uh, back in the 70s. We never used to watch Disney or anything like that when I was a kid. It's always stuff like this Jewel, uh, Roller Coaster, Bond films, Jaws, anything like that. I'd never seen stuff like Bambi and Dumbo. There's always great stuff like this. And we watched this Saturday night. Myself, my wife, my son Nathan. And it looks beautiful, it looks incredible. His red car that he drives 
so shiny and for me it holds up the wife enjoyed it my son said it bored him after a while I reckon he's a milkman's lad So thanks again for that, Larry. Do really appreciate it. You are the man. Uh, next up, <coughs> NCX saw Solo for three quid. Uh, the only Star Wars film I've never seen. So I thought I'd buy that, rectify it. Let me know if you think it's any good. Uh, next, also, NCX. This is a good thing about Moving on the films, I'm not going to watch any more. Gives me plenty of voucher money. So, a lot to keep on top of me about. So anything I see in CX that I fancy, I can get. And it's not costing me. Uh, so, yeah, next thing in CX was uh, a Kira Kurosawa film, Dreams. Uh, these are a series of short tales that apparently are based on Kurosawa's own dreams. Uh, and this used to be the manager's copy in there, and he says it's brilliant, and he can't wait to hear what I think when I've watched it. So when I get around to watch it, I'll tell him what I think. So yeah, it's Dreams of Kirikura Sour. Also from CX, um, the 4K steel book of the latest Avatar film. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. The Way of Water. Not seen this yet. Looking forward to watching it. And it should look spectacular in the OLED on 4K. So I've heard it's probably not the best film, but it's going to be a visual spectacle in any sense anyway. So we'll give that a go. Nextly, we have uh, viewers of the channel will realise I like me Asian cinema. So when I saw this box set in there in brilliant condition, it's, it's as new. Uh, the Scorpion Complete Collection. I think they're all set in prisons, so whether it's like your Japanese prisoner cell block H, I don't know, but I'm sure I'm going to get something out of them. I've heard good things about these, so I'm looking forward to tucking into that. I think there's four films on there. Um, Female Prisoner 701 Scorpion. Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41. Female Prisoner Scorpion Be Stable and Female Prisoner Scorpion Grudge Song. I think these are supposed to be quite uh, gory and not for kids. Let's put it that way. We'll have a look at the back. There's loads of special features on there. That's going to be a great one. Up next we have uh, The Homesman. I think uh, Stephanie uh, from the channel Movie Chatter was talking about this. Uh, she's got a great channel. Go and give her a sub. She's an American lady. Always talks about great films. and Always follow her recommendations. And I've picked up some great films from it. So, yeah, so that's home. Another one looking forward to watching. Uh, back to CEX. Uh, I saw this on the shelf. Never heard of it before. Uh, Mind Warp. Uh, a Eureka release. So that ticks boxes. And. Uh, I can't remember. Who was in it? Oh Bruce Campbell. Saw Bruce Campbell. Eureka release. I just grabbed it. Don't know anything about it. Could be crap. Could be great. We'll see. <clears throat> and lastly. We have one my favourite actor, Burt Lancaster. Again, I think this was uh, Stephanie in Movie Chatter was talking about this one because she's been doing a series of noir, film noir recommendations for November. And I've not seen that one. Uh, Larry tells me it's very good as well. So I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that. That's uh, The Sweet Smell of Success from Burt Lancaster. And look at all them special features is that focusing incredible i love these arrow academy releases i like them far better than the normal arrow releases in fact uh that's all i've picked up last couple of weeks some really good stuff there i'm sure you're all g agree i look forward to cracking into 
Uh, one more thing. I don't normally do recommendations on these pickup videos, but I've been watching something the last couple of days, which has been absolutely fantastic. And that is uh, Decalogue. What this is, if you're not familiar with it, it's a late 1980s Polish television series directed by Krzysztof Kieslowski, who I've seen a couple of his things before and really enjoyed. Uh, and this has been sat on my shelves for ages and ages, just waiting for me to get round to it. Um, when I finally did, blown away. Yeah, what it is, it's, it's 10 different hour episodes and each episode is based on one of the Ten Commandments. Uh, that it's all set in a big Polish tower block, but there's different interconnecting stories from the different residents in there. And the one I watched last night, <coughs> uh, based on Thou Shall Not Murder, are oh, amazing. It was a young guy kills a taxi driver, gets sentenced to hanging, and the hanging scene in it, my word, of just shocked me. I was sat there open mouthed, and apparently that scene it caused a debate in Polish cinema about in Polish Parliament about capital punishment. So yeah, give that a go. I think it's still in print. I think it's quite reasonable to pick up. I think about fifteen quid, something like that. But you got ten solid hours of brilliant entertainment on there, and just wish I'd got round to it sooner. But it just goes to show, pick stuff up you think you're going to watch. You might not get around to it for a while. Not, not this Eureka stuff. I've not watched it yet. But I know I'm in for some great stuff. Stuff like this that just makes you think. Brilliant. So anyway, yeah, thanks very much for listening, guys, and watching. Have a nice week. Let me know what you've picked up down below. And all be good. Thank you very much. Goodbye.